Hi everyone welcome to my YouTube channel. In the world of modern warfare, precision is everything. Gone are the days when brute force alone could win wars. In 2025, one missile continues to prove that targeted strikes from a safe distance can alter the course of battle, the AGM-65 Maverick. Developed by Hughes Aircraft Company and introduced back in 1972, the AGM-65 Maverick has evolved far beyond its early days. It's been in service for more than five decades, and yet, in 2025, it remains one of the most widely used tactical air-to-ground missiles in the U.S. arsenal. But why? What makes this missile still so deadly and relevant in the age of hypersonic weapons and autonomous drones? Let's take a deep dive into the story, capability, and 2025 relevance of the legendary AGM-65 Maverick. Today, this missile isn't just surviving, it's thriving, thanks to smart upgrades, adaptive warhead configurations, and new integration with next-gen aircraft and targeting systems. At its core, the AGM-65 is a precision-guided, air-to-ground missile designed to destroy a wide range of ground targets, everything from armored vehicles and bunkers to small ships and radar stations. What made it special even in the 70s was its ability to lock onto a target and autonomously guide itself. This meant pilots didn't have to manually guide the missile all the way to the target, giving them a fire and forget advantage that drastically improved survivability in hostile environments. In 2025, this same principle holds, but with cutting-edge enhancements. The modernized versions, especially the AGM-65L, are now equipped with improved infrared seekers, advanced electro-optical sensors, and digital autopilot systems. These allow for better target discrimination, improved lock-on after launch, and greater resistance to electronic jamming. So how exactly does the AGM-65 work today? When mounted on a fighter like the F-16 or A-10 Thunderbolt II, or even drones like the MQ-9 Reaper, the Maverick uses high-resolution imaging to identify and lock onto a target. Once fired, it autonomously flies toward the designated object using built-in navigation systems and seeker heads. Some versions, like the AGM-65D and AGM-65G, use infrared imaging, while others like the AGM-65H and AGM-65L use electro-optical TV guidance. The laser-guided AGM-65E variant adds even more accuracy, especially in low-visibility conditions. In 2025, the digital integration is smoother than ever. Data links between aircraft and missiles allow for real-time updates mid-flight, and in some cases, multiple Mavericks can be launched in rapid succession with precise mission programming. This is a missile designed for adaptability, one that's constantly being refined for the battlefield of tomorrow. Let's talk range. The AGM-65 has a maximum range of about 22 to 30 kilometers, depending on the variant and launch altitude. That might not sound like much compared to ballistic missiles or even newer standoff cruise missiles, but it's exactly what makes the Maverick perfect for tactical engagements. It's meant to hit critical targets quickly and precisely without causing excessive collateral damage. And speaking of damage, let's talk about warheads. The Maverick family comes with a variety of explosive payloads, including 125-pound shaped charge warheads ideal for armor penetration, and 300-pound blast fragmentation warheads suitable for destroying fortifications, air defenses, and infrastructure. This allows mission planners to tailor their loadouts depending on what the battlefield demands. As of 2025, the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps continue to use the Maverick in joint operations, particularly in counterinsurgency and anti-terrorist roles. In Iraq, Syria, and parts of Africa, the AGM-65 has proven to be a favorite for precision strikes on vehicles, fortified positions, and command posts. It's also widely exported. Countries like Taiwan, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and even NATO allies like Germany and Italy continue to operate the Maverick in their air forces, often pairing them with their own local fighter platforms. Now let's get into cost. In a world where some missiles cost millions of dollars per shot, the AGM-65 remains relatively affordable. As of 2025, each missile costs around $150,000 to $200,000 USD depending on the variant and configuration. Compared to the $3 million price tag of a Jasimur or the $1.5 million cost of a Tomahawk cruise missile, the Maverick delivers precision capability without breaking the bank. 
This affordability is a major reason why the missile is still widely produced and deployed. Another factor that keeps the Maverick alive in 2025 is its ease of maintenance and upgrade. Many countries have adopted Service Life Extension Programs SLEPs, to replace older analog components with digital systems, improve targeting algorithms, and add GPS INS guidance where necessary. The Air Force has also worked with Raytheon, now a part of RTX Corporation, to produce hybrid models that combine the best features of multiple variants. This means that even old Mavericks sitting in stockpiles can be retrofitted and turned into formidable weapons once again. But let's address the elephant in the room. With so many high-tech weapons in the US arsenal, why is a 50-year-old missile still in service? The answer lies in its combat-proven reliability. The Maverick has been used in virtually every major US conflict since Vietnam. It destroyed tanks in the Gulf War, radar stations in Kosovo, insurgent hideouts in Afghanistan, and naval targets in Yemen. Unlike newer weapons that still face real-world